The most prominent distinction between whales and other fish is that whales don't have gills, which means they cannot breathe the oxygen dissolved in water. Instead, they have lungs, which means they have to come to the surface every time they want to breathe air. This brings up the question that how long can whales hold their breath underwater? Whales can hold their breath for a very long time, and this ranges from species to species. Humpback whales have been known to hold their breath for up to 60 minutes, but they don't do this very often. On average, humpbacks will go down for a dive ranging between 4 to 7 minutes and then come up again for about 6 to 8 breaths and repeat the process. The blue whale can hold its breath for up to 90 minutes and usually resurfaces after about 30 minutes. On the other hand, the killer whales don't hold their breath for anywhere near as long. Their maximum is about 15 minutes, but on average they surface at least once a minute while moving quickly or every 3 to 5 minutes while traveling. The whale that can hold its breath the longest is the Cuvier's beaked whale, which can take long dives underwater for several hours. Watch till the end of the video to know the record of the longest dive. So how can whales hold their breath for so long? Whales have a very efficient respiratory system where their lungs can make the most out of each breath. For perspective, humans breathe around 12 to 20 times per minute when resting, but only absorb 5% of the oxygen in a single breath. Compare this to a whale that can absorb as much as 90% of the oxygen in each breath. This means that a whale acquires much more oxygen than a human in a single breath. The other important thing is that rather than keeping oxygen in their lungs like humans do, whales' bodies are specially adapted to store oxygen in their blood and muscles. They have extraordinarily high levels of oxygen storing proteins, hemoglobin and myoglobin. Whales also reduce their heart rate and stop the blood flow to certain parts of the body, temporarily shutting down organs such as their kidneys and liver while they hunt. This helps them use the oxygen they have in their bodies more slowly. Finally, during a dive, if it is running out of oxygen stores, a whale can always switch to anaerobic respiration, which saves precious oxygen but does cause lactic acid to build up quickly, which tires out the muscles. This is normally an option of last resort. Most whales have already completed more than 90% of their dive before they ever switch to anaerobic respiration. One notable exception, again, is the Cuvier's beaked whale. It can apparently stay underwater for at least another hour after anaerobic respiration kicks in without experiencing much apparent muscle fatigue. The longest ever recorded dive was made by the Cuvier's beaked whale that remained underwater for nearly four hours. Prior to that, the longest dive record was also held by a Cuvier's beaked whale that managed to remain underwater for 138 minutes. Being able to stay underwater for long periods of time allows for whales to carry on biologically important activities including searching for food and for traveling safely underwater. That's all for today's video, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.